believe uh, Bill's already kind of introduced our speaker, Richard Patton, but uh, let's welcome him and pay attention to him. He's going to talk to us about the many wonderful things uh, and opportunities in World Bible School that each and every one of us can uh, participate in. And both as a, um, a student, we can uh, take the classes ourselves, and then we can also be a teacher for others. And he's going to tell us about that and other great things that World Bible School can. Richard, uh, all the way from Colorado, most Thank you. Now, I didn't come from Colorado this morning. Uh, it's just down from Leander. So. <laughs> Let's see if this will we can get our clicker. There we go. There we go. That looks like what we're supposed to see up there. Well, I hope you've all had a, a great Christmas holiday. I'm looking forward to the new year. Can you believe it's going to be 2020 already? That's, uh, that's like talking about the Jetsons or something. Uh, to, to be this far into the 20th century, the 21st century, really. So, uh, it's an exciting time. And I'm glad we're all here this morning. And I, I thank you for this opportunity to, to come before you to, to talk about World Bible School. And... Uh, just uh, basically give a report on World Bible School. Some of you are already very familiar with the work of World Bible School and involved. Some of you maybe not, but hopefully you'll be encouraged to become more involved with World Bible School after uh, hearing what is going on with World Bible School. Uh, this morning, it's important to acknowledge that uh, in the U.S. And, and other parts of the world today, today's technology has brought more connections within our world than ever before. Yet despite these advances, there's a vast majority of people that seem to have difficulty developing uh, deep and meaningful relationships with one another. And sadly, uh, this has led to a greater disconnect from a loving God and His Son, Jesus. So how do you reach a disconnected culture? Well, the answer is, is the one that has never changed. It's by you offering a relationship, you sharing Jesus, helping them find that relationship with Jesus. And that's what Little Bible School is about. And that's what I want to share with you this morning as we talk about that. Uh, again, we're going to see if uh, our clicker is working. That's great. So I'm going to have to turn every now and then just to make sure the right slide's up there. But uh, Jesus gave his disciples instructions to make sure, to make disciples, to baptize, and to teach. And thank you, George, for your, your message this morning, too, on the importance of being a disciple, and one that is following Jesus where he leads. As his disciples today, I believe that is our task, too, is to, to help others become disciples. And World Bible School is offering tools that can help uh, you to share Jesus. <laughs> Here's a look at the World Bible School tools. Now, as I said before, many of you are probably already familiar uh, with what World Bible School offers, so there may be no surprises up there whatsoever. Maybe you're just anxious to learn a little bit more about some of the newer tools. But really, I do this at the beginning of the presentation because there are folks out there that when you mention World Bible School, all they know of is the postal correspondence courses, usually done in the back of the the church building by the little old ladies and things like that. Well, that's that's you know, not the case in, in a lot of places anymore. So I'm going to be talking about the tools and how they can be used. And, and uh, really, the best place to start, I think, is with uh, God's original tool, the Bible. The World Bible School Study Edition Bible. Many of you have seen it. We've already been giving those out. But, but it's good to uh, remember uh, this wasn't always there. It's hard to believe it. It's only been out for three years now. Um, boy, when I started with World Bible School, it's one of the things that impressed me that they were they were putting together and making available, and it's such a, a fabulous uh, way to distribute that and as far as price and cost of doing that. But uh, this is a, a full Bible, whereas before it was a partial Bible, probably the New Testament or, or the Psalms. But this is a full Bible. It uses the ESV, the English Standard Version. Which for, for many uh, of the students, this is an easier to read version because uh, English is a second language. To so this, that is what makes it easier. But this is, the Bible is as 
cross-referenced uh, footnotes, concordance, the study helps in the back of the Bible. Over 140 pages of, of study notes that are, are back there to help uh, the students. Now, this same Bible... There you go. I forgot to show you what it looks like. <laughs> also has a prison version. You might have to help me out there. It's just a blue cover Bible, but it's what's different about this is it allows it to be accepted into most uh, prison systems today uh, that have certain standards as far as what the system is. It's basically down like a paperback book, but it's the exact same uh, version of uh, as what you see on this side with the brown cover. Now in the back of that uh, Bible are the, the study help notes uh, that relate to the correspondence courses. They're not a replication of the courses themselves, but they, they, uh, they will share the same titles as the courses, and the student is going to be able to go deeper into their study if they uh, delve into those study help notes that are back there. And there's also the topical uh, study. Sorry about this. <laughs> there we go, topical studies. On the screen there, you can see uh, really one of the things that makes this uh, different from any other study Bible is uh, addressing the topic of baptism and why a person must be baptized. Now, uh, Bibles for Millions, which you've already seen on the first slide, is simply an effort to, uh, uh, on behalf of World Bible School to uh, put the first million Bibles into the hands of seekers. And we'd love to, to see that actually become millions of Bibles. And uh, we'd like for your congregation to continue supporting that and uh, giving out Bibles to maybe uh, friends, neighbors, uh, family members even. That uh, one simple way to start is providing for visitors that come that don't have a Bible. And, and then just to show that, that it's very inexpensive, uh, quantity discounts for larger purchases, and um, you can also go in together and, and, and save on a purchase. And, and study helpers, importantly, can continue to offer a Bible to their students at no cost. Uh, all we ask is that they would, uh, you could help with the cost of shipping when it comes time to uh, providing that. Now the tool that's missing, that's missing here, apparently some of the stuff didn't cost me over well, but uh, the postal correspondence is, is really what World Bible School is, is um, where it all started, let's say. And there are those that uh, still want to understand the message of the Bible, and that's what World Bible School is about. On the screen there, you can see the World Bible School curriculum that is seven courses that teach about God's plan and who Jesus is and how to become a Christian and also how to live as a Christian. Um, the students will read the courses, and they will answer multiple choice questions and also some discussion questions. And then return that answer sheet back to their study helper. They will grade it. The, it's the multiple choice questions which are graded. The discussion questions are just your opportunity to, to get to know your student and how they're understanding the lessons. And as a study helper, keep them on track and uh, help them overcome maybe some false teachings or misconceptions that they've encountered uh, before beginning this, this study. Uh, we also have specialized courses. What you see on the screen here is what we call a Muslim series. And this would be integrated into the seven courses and replace God has spoken and, um, and knowing Jesus. But this, for uh, a student that has self-identified through that intro lesson in the profile section, that they've identified Islam as their religion. This is a way you can begin, help them begin their study on what, for them, is familiar ground. Still going to help them know God's plan and who realize who Jesus really is. The other specialized course is our children's series because children have an interest in learning about God too. And uh, this is one of, of the tools that will help start them out on uh, age pro 
appropriate material. This is designed for ages 8 to 12. You know, I wonder if this will be like car. You say if you hold your car, you know, the key fob up to your head, it might help better. I'll try that next time. <laughs> but here are our supplemental courses. And oftentimes, uh, you know, a, a student will finish the entire course and they will ask, what else can I learn? Well, this is a teacher's opportunity to, um, to provide supplemental courses. These aren't lessons that have to be, have answer sheets mailed back to the study helper to grade. They're, they're more or less informational studies that will help the student. Now, you as a study helper you may have identified that they have a special area of need. Maybe they're asking questions about prayer or or spiritual gifts. Well, this is your opportunity to help uh, provide that further instruction for them as well. Here we go. And it doesn't work. <laughs> All right. So our postal uh, students for last year, this is 2018 numbers, so 2019 numbers won't be ready for a few more weeks. But last year, we had over 1.3 million students that registered with World Bible School to, to study our courses. Now this is not a, a full and accurate number. There's actually many more. Because, I'll say that because uh, many students are, are providing the names of their family and their friends that also want to study. And those names are going directly to the study helper and to those congregations. This number on the screen is just the numbers that have come through World Bible School office over on Anderson Mill Road. I have to say that you guys know where that's at. The seeds are being planted, the lives are being changed, and, and this is one of the examples. This is Fosari, who lives in Harare, Zimbabwe. He attended a um, seminar, similar to the one that I helped conduct this year, but he came forward at the invitation and he expressed the desire to actually talk to the other students there. Hopefully, maybe some of you have heard this story before, but uh, it, it's really has touched me, and that's why I like sharing this, because it, it shows the full impact of how lives are being touched and changed and transformed, and it's exactly what we want to see happen. But he began his talk by thanking his American study helper, Rebecca Shue of Alabama, and then he shared how he had suffered abuse. Uh, depression uh, during his childhood. He had run away from home several times, and then he also tried to commit suicide at least four times. But he said, I'm one of those individuals that was changed through the course of World Bible School courses because World Bible School helped me in understanding the scriptures. World Bible School helped me in changing my life. And through this is a sinful and unpleasant world. I'm planning on teaching and changing other people's lives, for their lives to be brighter. So not only did it change his life, but he had that attitude that he wanted to help change other people's lives, for them to have hope. Now, teaching online, which uh, is often asked about, is, is the same course as the postal. Which I can't show you the, the, what they look like in the digital world, but I'll show you it's the same thing as our, our postal uh, correspondence courses there. And, it, and it's, uh, it's really quite simple to do. And that, it, and the fact that, um, first of all, you as a, uh, a study helper, your information is kept uh, private. You're not going to have access to the student's information either. So all this uh, information and teaching is being done on our, our website. So you're not exchanging personal information and things like that, which is often a, a concern. And the uh, online co courses? There we go. The student's going to see the, the same that? lesson, but they're going to be able to answer the discussion questions or multiple choice questions yeah. or the discussion questions within the lesson that they're learning on. Which is a little bit different. Um, in booklet form, the questions are in the center. They'll have to, uh, to answer the questions later uh, after they've read the lesson. They do it in here. But for the teacher, what's different too is the graded portion, the multiple choice questions are going to be graded for you. So you will, you will be focusing on the discussion questions, how they're responding, what they're telling you, so that you can uh, give them the appropriate attention that they need. 
This is uh, Ingrid Morial. She is one of those online students. In fact, I became familiar with Ingrid in the spring of 2018. It's a little bit while back, but uh, I had sent her a word of encouragement. I found her on the, the online general student board. She had completed the intro lesson. And at the time, I was thinking, uh, with concern for, for students that complete that intro lesson, they usually get uh, adopted right away without receiving a note of encouragement. I wanted to make sure she had a note of encouragement. Well, sure enough, she was adop adopted shortly after I sent her that note of encouragement. And I uh, never heard from her again until uh, it was October, that following fall, that she sent me a note and said, she hadn't heard from her study helper and was concerned about it. Ingrid lives in South Africa, so we're talking 9,000 miles away. Her study helper is in Tennessee and uh, hasn't heard from her and, and uh, hadn't responded. And so she didn't know that I worked for World Bible School, but yet I was able to, to follow up with her, her teacher to find out what was going on. She had, her husband had been sick and work had just uh, overwhelmed her, so she just hadn't had the time to to respond like she normally had. But uh, I let Ingrid know that uh, her, her study helper is going to be back with her shortly and, and all is well. But as a result of being in contact with both the, the study helper and with Ingrid, um, they came back to me when they said, uh, Ingrid's ready to be baptized. Well, the, the part that made this difficult is Ingrid's suffering from ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. And it had progressed to the point where she had lost total mobility, no longer use her legs or arms, and even lost the ability to speak. And this really emphasized the point, this is what online is for, it's for students that have, don't have the ability, this is an extreme example, of course, but don't have the ability to hold the book with in their hand. So it's, I'm so glad that World Bible School has this to offer. So how does she communicate and do these lessons? Oops. Helps if I point back here. She has a special monitor uh, that, that's in front of her that tracks her eye movement. And so she is able to type and her messages and responses to questions and all these letters with eye movement, which is incredible. But uh, Machona that you see over here uh, on the screen is Lazarus on, on the left. And they uh, provided a follow-up for Ingrid. And uh, this was... Day before Thanksgiving of last year, Ingrid was baptized. They brought a portable baptistry to her home. I took her out on the patio where she was baptized. And uh, uh, it's just been an uh, amazing uh, stay in contact. And, and the expressions of, of her faith and how she has grown even since then has just uh, been, been amazing and very inspiring. But the, her birthday, too, was the day after Thanksgiving. She turned 44, so today she's 95, uh, 45, excuse me. <laughs> See, you're... <laughs> so if you are interested in becoming a study helper, go to the worldbibleschool.net website. We do have the two websites. .net is our resource site for teachers. .org is where the teaching takes place. But if you want to become a teacher with access to .org, go to .net and click on Become a Study Helper. And there's a, a teacher application that you would uh, complete. And then once you have uh, done that, you'll be able to go to the .org site. And this is an example of the, uh, the, the, uh, the general student board. And in this example on the screen here is 93 students who are there on the board that have registered, newly registered, and are waiting to, to either be encouraged or adopted as uh, students. And here's an example of what you would learn about each of those students that are on the student board. You're going to learn uh, their name, their language, where they're from, how long ago they registered. Uh, what's their status of the intro lesson? There's only three statuses. Either they register, they haven't begun, or they're in progress like this student, or they've completed that intro lesson. You'll learn their, their name and if they've received any notes of encouragement. Now, in our students, uh, in addition to our postal students, we had over 100,000 uh, online students last year. 
quite a disparity between what you would think with, with online being available. You would think that would be a much larger number. And I, I'm very optimistic with the advances we're going to be making in 2020, that number is going to be much larger. But as a total, 1.4 million are reaching out to World Bible School. And again, this is not a complete number, but that's still a large enough number that we can be impressed that there are that many people out there in the world that are searching to want to know God's Word. Now in Acts 1, verse 8, we see where Jesus told his disciples to, to be his witnesses in three places. Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the the earth. Well, here's the thing. They were already in Jerusalem. And so essentially he was telling them to start where they are. And that's where World Bible School now has a tool called Connect. And we'd like to help, help congregations begin where they are. And this is an example of uh, what, there's really two parts to our Connect. One is what we call a traditional campaign. And with a traditional campaign, we like to offer uh, you the ability to make a custom web address that uh, will be unique to your congregation. And I believe you already have one, if I'm not mistaken, Bill. Um, but how it works is uh, this custom web address, no matter how it's seen, um, and that's the, the, the objective of this, is to get this out in public. We even create uh, business cards, flyers that can be distributed. But however you want to be creative and, and get that out in front of the public, when somebody responds to that and registers, they are offered to your congregation, your study helpers, the, uh, the opportunity to then study with them. In this example, that was Explore Hope. I think that's uh, Brown Street in Waxahachie that has that. But again, it's just an identifier in front of worldmodelschool.org. It makes it that custom web address. Web apps is the other uh, uh, tool or a part of Connect with web apps. You can create a target area. And what you see on the map are target areas that car congregations throughout the U.S. have established to, to find students in their area. These are people that you may not come in contact with, but yet they're out there online and they're searching for a way to study the Bible. We want World Bible School to be one of those options that they see when they uh, are online and, and do that search. This is what they would see as far as the search uh, search results. Here's an online, this is actual online search results um, for um, an online Bible study. And as you can see, World Bible School is at the top of the list. Is that's, a, that's what web ads is for. It's the advertising to be uh, at that position where it will be seen by anyone that is doing that search. We're at the top of the list, and then pretty much everyone has seen the whole Bible School and has considered them as that option for what they're searching for. This is what it looks like uh, when it's used around the world. Again, these are uh, congregations that are creating mission points or have mission points in other countries, but they're also creating a web ad target over that and to assist their missionary that they're perhaps uh, supporting. It's used in many countries. But the point is, they are studying with uh, someone back in the U.S., and if they, uh, that student requests a uh, follow-up for baptism to, to meet the church or to have a one-on-one uh, -on -one Bible study, that congregation can then refer them to their uh, missionary that they're supporting them. Now here we go. This is Methodus. This is the, probably the one um, some of you are probably most excited to hear about. This is our newest tool that will be um, readily available later in January, probably after the 15th. Methodus uh, is, uh, again, our newest tool, and it's uh, utilizing uh, social media as a discipling tool. Um, this is this is really a kind of a, a hard a hard topic, but it, it's difficult to express in some ways because it is so new. And even in just the last two weeks, we've been learning even more at World Bible School about what all is going to be entailed in this. But when you say social network, uh, what do you think of? Probably. 
Facebook, Twitter, things like that. Well, that's kind of the social platform that uh, we're establishing, a uh, way for, for people that can come to it and, and um, share uh, photos, things like that. But part, an important part of this platform are what we call the Methodist lessons. There's going to be three uh, courses in there. Now, a Methodist, and I might have you just say this with me. Everybody say Methodist. Yes. All right. Because uh, in, in, invariably, whenever uh, we say the name, people will come up and uh, say, tell me this about this math uh, something. <laughs> but uh, now you know. Uh, it's, it is really based on the Greek word for the word disciple. Mathetaeus. It's an anglicized or an English version of that word. Um, so, and, and I guess uh, what what makes it difficult to, uh, to really tell you all about it is just because it is so relatively new. But along with this, it will be the, the Methodist uh, courses will be divided into three um, three courses. Those who are wondering what to believe, and, uh, and if perhaps you know someone that already could benefit from something like that. The, and then there are those who are in need of a savior, and uh, these are for those who know they're lacking something that, uh, and they aren't sure exactly what that is. And then there are the, the course that is uh, for those seeking the family of God, again, for you Christians. Uh, ten, ten lessons in each of these courses. And uh, how did World Bible School decide what or how they were entitled these lessons? Well, here's an example of some of the questions people are actually asking in Google searches. These numbers are, are how uh, many searches are you made on these topics each month. So you see, uh, who is God? There's uh, 23,000 searches a month and so on. All the way down to who am I? 247 searches. Wow. Yeah, in some ways, that's kind of encouraging to know that there are that many people that realize they need something more than what this world offers. Does God love me? 1,800 people searching that word. That's, uh, that's quite amazing, but even uh, more sadly, it's surprising. Why does God hate me? There's more people searching that and why than, than um, does God love me? That's, uh, this concept of God hating is, is sadly how some perceive uh, religion. And so uh, these, uh, these courses are going to offer a uh, person an opportunity to meet Jesus. The final two uh, lessons are titled up here. And again, showing how many people are searching those. This is the final two lessons of the second series of those in need of the Savior. Now, the, the Methodist study process is going to work like this. You see the young lady up there. Well, she can go to Methodist.org or she can download it on her, her phone. There is an app for that. Um, but she can do the study herself, she can invite others to join in the study with her, or she can easily join a group of other people that already have started a, a, a study. Each of the videos that are a part of the, uh, the courses are, are about five to nine minutes long, nothing any longer than that. But uh, then there are discussion questions that parallel or go along with the video that they've watched. And uh, really, they, if they're doing it as a group, they're going to be able to start that group discussion and, uh, and share their answers together and, and learn together. This uh, course is also going to be offered as a Bible class. There we go. This is called the Reaching Series. So... Um, the course booklets, again, parallel the online lessons um, and courses, and they're geared to, to helping uh, further your understanding of the Methodist material, how to use it, and uh, how to use it in a classroom setting as well. 
Again, reaching those wondering what to believe, reaching those in need of a Savior, and reaching those seeking the family of God. And that is the face. The last tool I want to share with you is, is called Spoken. Spoken, oh, I had it there for a second. Okay. <laughs> Spoken is a, is a, a way to uh, uh, share Jesus while you're helping someone improve their ability to speak English. There is a large demand, actually, for people that want to do this. Because for many, this is a way they're going to improve their livelihood. This is a better paying job. In, in most cases. And so um, this will work as an app for the phone. And, uh, and, and that will, this, this isn't available just yet. This will become available. It's being reworked and will become available this spring. But the students can be presented a passage of scripture. There we go. Passage of scripture that they're going to be able to First, the record button and read into their phone using the best English that they can pull together. And then an English speaking Christian coach will be the one receiving and listening to that, uh, that reading. And they're going to be able to offer tips to improve their ability to, to pronunciate certain words that they may be struggled with. But they're also going to have that opportunity to encourage them. And how would they encourage them? Probably by sharing what that passage of scripture means to them. But throughout this entire process, that student uh, that's using spoken is going to have the opportunity to register with the Lord Bible School and further their understanding and knowledge of, of God's Word. And so these are the tools of Lord Bible School. And again, our, our toolbox, I like to call it that. I call it the relationship toolbox of this point because, again, it's a relationship with you sharing Jesus that is, uh, that is what is needed. Well, my hope is that you have, haven't uh, 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 worried too much or <laughs> what have you, but, but uh, maybe there's a way that you can uh, use one of these tools and, and, and be involved in, in uh, World Bible School and using uh, this to make it available. I want to go through real quickly some of the ways that, uh, that the tools can be put to work. We know that it can be works in... in uh, in foreign countries, in, a, in hometowns, to connect, but it can also work as a one-on-one -on -one Bible study. It can work in uh, Bible class as curriculum for students, and uh, benevolence outreach. We use uh, the Bible in Leander as part of our uh, food pantry and uh, clothing giveaway. But uh, these are, are print, in print, online, and also in other languages. So we encourage you to, to give a Bible, uh, use them in, uh, for church pews, for, um, uh oh, before I can go on, let me, this, this one right here is uh, a picture that was taken in one of the church foyers where um, the Bibles were just put out there for the members to, to take if they needed one but, or if there was a visitor that needed the Bible, but they were also encouraged to give a Bible. Again, thinking of somebody that uh, could use a Bible. That they know, whether it be their neighbor or friend, family. Uh, if you're going to give a Bible in these ways, here's a great idea. Include that traditional campaign that we talked about, a way to connect your gift of a Bible and hopefully turn it into a Bible study. Uh, we've, we've gone to the, uh, applying a sticker in the front of ours and it includes that uh, uh, traditional campaign. And in the end, it's the brighter days. Worldbibleschool.org. But be creative. Maybe there's something that you could also you know, do with the Bibles you have. Here's an example of the McKenzie Church of Christ. This is their uh, senior group of prime timers. They have made it their mission to distribute Bibles, and they've even invented uh, and came up with this band put around it that, that says it's free and that it needs to be read. Also, it points out where the study helps are, so they can uh, look into the back and, and see if there's uh, questions that uh, they can find answers to. But uh, they take these into a local shelter, and they also provide them into reception offices and, and just uh, to individuals that request them. Another congregation is using it as part of their backpacks for the homeless. That includes the Bible, a few other things, and also a car in which they can um, learn how they can do a Bible study. 
This was an exciting story for us to learn about because we got a call one day from the church in a small congregation, actually, in Pickwick, not Pickwick, but it's the Pickwick Church of Christ in Tennessee. I can't remember the actual town. But uh, they ordered 2,000 Bibles, and uh, with an order like that, we had to call them up and say, what are you, you going to do with 2,000 Bibles? Well, they had heard of uh, the National Bring Your Bible to School Day. It is a, a national, um, I wouldn't say holiday, but it is an event that goes on each October. And uh, they had, uh, I guess it was designed for those who, or to get the kids to bring their Bible to school, kind of as a show and tell, to show the other kids that they have the Bible. But the elders and leaders of the Pickwick Church had thought about, what about the kids that don't even have a Bible? So that's why they ordered 2,000 Bibles. They were allowed to get them out in school, put them on the table, the kids could buy, walk by and take a Bible if they wanted one. And all 2,000 Bibles were given away. As a result of doing this, there were several Bible studies that were set up with parents and with teachers. So that's another exciting um, way that this is being used. Another is House to House, Heart to Heart has uh, started this year uh, encouraging door knocking again. Uh, this came about because they were seeing posts on social media where uh, people were surprised uh, they were going out doing door knocking, but encouraged by uh, the responses that they were doing. So this uh, past October, the first Saturday of October, they encouraged National Day. There's quite a few that participated. These are some pictures that they, they sent us, but almost all of those included the World Bible School Bible as part of their uh, door knocking campaign. Again, Bible classes, new Christian Bible classes uh, in larger congregations. Uh, this is a great opportunity to, to help them uh, begin their, their uh, walk in Christ uh, by learning about the church and learning uh, about how to live as a Christian. You know, these are our 13 week uh, lessons, so each of these courses is uh, a quarter's worth of material. And if you add in our supplemental uh, courses too, you've got a year's worth of uh, teaching material. Welcome topics that include the flyer, and what you saw briefly on there was a uh, website. I think, uh, more and more churches are, are, are utilizing their own website to uh, offer a Bible study, and that's a great way to use that traditional campaign as well. But many people don't come to, to services quite as often as they will go to a website to figure out, who's this congregation that meets over here in Lakeway? That's a, an opportunity to offer a Bible study. And then another example from house to house, heart to heart. Um, for congregations that uh, subscribe to this, they have the opportunity to uh, include a little advertising of their own. In this uh, portion over here, some have included their, um, their flyer from uh, their traditional campaign. Well, several have gotten responses, not only to services, but this congregation uh, just north of Pittsburgh did that very thing. They started their traditional campaign in the spring, and then by December, they had their first baptism. As a, uh, from, uh, this is Ed, who responded to the opportunity to study and then made that decision to do that. We offer two ways that we can stay in touch. We'd love for you to subscribe to our action newsletter. I do have some on the table. And all the material that we talked about today is out there too. So please, if you would like to take a closer look at it, you're welcome to take some of that material. Um, but if you'd like to subscribe and receive the action newsletter, we also offer the coordinator's corner for those who are coordinators or study helpers. Again, inspirational stories, um, ideas, things like that that we can help you uh, stay involved in and, and, and see new things. I want to share with you again the... Um, the, uh, the, the online search that we saw earlier. This was very exciting to, uh, to see World Bible School at the top of the list. But uh, I have to tell you, it was also a sobering thought because uh, when I saw this, I thought, well, that's great. If World Bible School is there, which on this screen it's not. And that was the point. What would replace World Bible School if we weren't there? Well, in this, this case, It flashed by there. But the next uh, next uh, group on the list was the Mormons. 
You can't just assume that somebody's going to be there to take the Bible school's place. And be involved in, in, in helping uh, all these lives. These are all individuals that have been uh, affected by and changed by uh, the whole Bible school. Now, I know uh, some of you have probably known Tex Williams and knew him. He passed away earlier this fall. And, and one of the things that um, came out from, from his passing and, and, and looking back on his life was why he even became involved in the World Bible School. He led World Bible School for 20 years, from 85 up until 2006. And, and it's not like he, he didn't have anything else to do. He had other ambitions and, and demands to do, go in other directions. But... Um, after he came on board with World Bible School, he gave three reasons why he chose World Bible School over everything else. And one of those was, World Bible School is teaching more of the first principles of the gospel than any other work. So this is why I ask that you would consider becoming a study helper. Move back up one more. Back. Um, his uh, other example was more people are being baptized because of the work of World Bible School than any other. So that's why I ask that you pray for World Bible School students and the, the obstacles that they are, are still trying to overcome in many cases. And then the third reason, if I can get my cooperate, World Bible School is involving more of American Christians than any other work that we know. And so that's why I ask if, if you can continue to get to support World Bible School so that we can be there for those people that are searching and looking for hope. World Bible School um, Sorry, this is throwing me off just a bit. Here's the scripture we went over this morning in class about the scripture that I like to offer to my students, encourage them, that is, it comes from Romans 15, 4. For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, through endurance, and through encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. That's what many of the folks that are coming to the World Bible School are looking for, hope. And it's only found in God's word. In the story of Philip and the Ethiopian, we learned something that's important. Uh, when it comes to understanding these words. You see, the Ethiopian, he had scripture. He had a prized copy of scripture and he was reading them. But yet, he still needed help in understanding what it was he was reading. And that's where this picture comes into play. This is a representation today of Philip and the Ethiopian. Remember, Jesus is still writing so many exciting new stories for people, new stories with hope. And World Bible School, um, with World Bible School, seeds are being planted, disciples are being made, and people are being baptized into Christ. So I encourage you to find a way to use the tools of World Bible School and uh, be busy about sharing Jesus with those that you know. Thank you again for allowing me to come and, uh, and talk about World Bible School and share with you this if any of you have a need this morning, we're going to offer this opportunity for you to respond and, and come forward. It may not be a, a request for baptism, but maybe there's something going on in your life. I know the holidays can also be a difficult time, but if you do have a need, please come forward and offer it.